I'll tell you a story about my dog, actually. Is that well? Okay, so, so our dog, our family dog back home had a stroke. And I'm trying to raise awareness about it. Because not everybody knows what to do when a dog has a stroke. There's plenty of ads about the man having the stroke on the telly. You're aware of it? Fast. Face. Arms. Speech. Wouldn't like to be having a stroke around you people. <laughs> Face. Arms. Speech. Time to call. In my opinion, it's a long time anyway. Just after your speech is after dropping out, you know. Your hands don't even work to hold the phone. You're like, come on, should have called that face. What was I thinking? It was a terrible ad. I'm not making fun of that ad. Do you know who's my favorite actor? The man in that ad. The man doing the fucking stroke. He is brilliant. I don't know what his name is. That's fucking brilliant acting. The boy gets it all to go down, right? I think it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be an unfortunate time to have a stroke, like if you were auditioning for that ad. <laughs> like, this guy's good. <laughs> and you're like, help, no, you're doing fine. You're doing really good. <laughs> Keep doing the face. <laughs> so, I'd love to have that, man. If I could do that, that was my party piece, I'd be doing it all the time. Stroking, like, you know. <laughs> Get you out of all situations. Do you take this woman? You just drop the ring in the face. <laughs> anyway, none of that happened for my dog, right? My dog's bark did not slur. His paws were absolutely fine. The main symptom of my dog having a stroke was he went around in circles. Now, he did do that for over a week, right? <laughs> Me and my dad took him to the vet, we put him on a table, keeps doing the sort. <laughs> and the vet is amazing, fair play to him, great rapport with the animal. My dog calmed down immediately, and he's rubbing the dog, he's like, he's not for his name. What's his name? And my dad said, Caesar. And the vet's like, oh, a, a first name Julius, I suppose. And my dad's like, no, it's a dog. <laughs> so he only has one name. The vet's like, I'm just saying, Julius Caesar, this little guy, could be dictator of the Roman Empire. And my dad was like, well, we named him after the dog food, so it's just Caesar, okay? <laughs> the vet doesn't get my dad at all, right? So then he examines my dog, and he comes back in, and he said, I'm afraid it's bad news. I'm afraid Caesar has had a stroke. And my dad looked at me, and he said, I fucking knew it. There's a history of that in your mother's sight, right? So, <laughs> the best joke he's ever done in his life, right? I actually have a pain in my belly laughing at him. I'm never going to get back from this. And because I'm laughing so hard, he's laughing so hard. Because I knew he was joking. But the vet, the vet doesn't know we're joking. The vet is just like, these fellas shouldn't have a dog. Like, Who the fuck gave them a dog? And I'm not missing. I could not stop laughing at that. And the main reason being... We, there was a lot of tension, and stroke is bad. It's a bad, you know it's bad news. The dog is old, we knew. And my dad caught the tension with a joke, so it was just like, we, you know, eventually we came around and we were like, sorry. Um. <laughs> so you're gonna have to make a decision about the dog, because uh, we can't do anything about it, he's quite old. So let me give you a bit of time to mull it over. And we called the rest of the family and we're like, yeah, it's not good news, he's had a stroke and, you know, he won't, he'll never stop going around in circles. It's like being on the walls for the rest of your life, you know. I'm sure we all love him, but like a couple of minutes is enough, really. So I decide to say goodbye to the dog, right? Me and my dad make a decision, we said we'll say goodbye to the dog. Then the vet walked back in and all of a sudden I can't speak, right? Did you ever get that? I have a lump in my throat, it's physically painful. Genuinely now, like, I'm going, fucking hell. And it feels like I can't speak because of it, you know? It's like, it feels like it's expanding every second and my eyes are heating up. And even though I was laughing, fucking five minutes, I just can't even. And I'm going, I can't do this. Like, my dad will have to do this, you know? And I looked at my dad and he's worse. I've never seen my dad crying in his life. And he, he left, and he left me in there with the vet. And the vet is like, do you know, have you any idea what you're going to do now? Or... <laughs> It's like he's got a lunch break or something. I can't. Do you know what you're going to do? Like, and I'm like, 
And he's like, you know, and I, I'm a bit embarrassed because I think I'm going to cry, so I put my elbow up like that. He's still over there looking at me. I can't even tell him to fuck off, you know. He wants an answer, and all I could manage in that moment was a gesture. <laughs> Julius Caesar there for the visually impaired. I like that, I like that. <laughs>